Visualize, if you will, a bus driving down the street with passengers from every corner of the earth. Seated on this old bus are Chinese, Germans, Persians, the French, the Arab, the Indian, and the Spaniard. All humans except black Africans are represented. The African has her own transportation and is on the side of the road fixing a flat tire. She has her own car because she is older and, of course, everyone else is still in the public transportation phase of their development at this time. Unknown to them, she is a distant parent of each and every one on the bus. No one knows. The driver of the bus loses control of the steering wheel and it crashes. The bus hits the embankment, careens off the rails, turns over, skids across the wet and muddy road, and rolls over this African on the side of the road. Everyone on the bus has sustained some kind of injury. Some injuries were serious, others were seemingly negligible or not very bad at all. The Chinese woman has a broken arm. The little fellow from Russia broke his jaw. The young man from Greece has a broken leg. The poor woman from what later became the Americas sustained a broken back. A Japanese couple had crushed their shoulders. The white Arab now needs a neck brace. All humans have been injured on the road of life. All were injured in what is the unfolding drama of a human tragedy. However, the African was outside of the bus and was actually skidded over by the bus, sustaining the worst injuries. She is lying there underneath the bus with a crushed and broken body. She is almost in pieces, barely alive. She has a pulse, but that is about it. Her injuries are both internal and external. Her body is twisted and mangled because of this tragedy. Now, years later, every human from every seat on that bus are asking her why she still has a limp. Why does she still have nightmares about something that happened so long ago, they ask her. You need to pull yourself up by the bootstraps just like we did, they tell her. Where and how does she begin to tell them of her obvious pain and suffering over the span of time since the accident? How can she break it down for them so that they can grasp why she is seemingly so far behind? Perhaps she should start with realizing that they will never fully understand that her injuries are quite different from the rest of humanity. No one has been through what the African in America went through for as long as the African experienced it. Perhaps the African, you, should begin to examine life from the standpoint of one who understands that others aren't capable of comprehending the plight of one who has been under the bus wreckage. Know that you have scars.